G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well today I've got this rather interesting little quadcopter here. Now this is known as the Mere Best Color Sprite, as you can see here. And what this is, is a app customizable programming light drone. So basically, uh, with this particular version that I have, there are two different models, which I'll cover in a second. The model that I have, you can actually customize via an app that they provide. Um, a message so it's like a message board uh, drone okay so while it spins fast it will uh, the LED lights on it will show any messages that you happen to uh, type in on the app okay now there's two different versions of this um, there's the one that I've got which basically has white LED lights the one that you can customize the messages or you've got a color LED version okay which um, is not programmable via the app, okay? There's also two models you can get. You get the model with just the transmitter here, okay, only, or you could get the model I have with both the watch gravity sensor here and the standard RC remote, all right, guys? Now, this one ranges, it depends uh, what uh, model you choose. It starts off at around $28. And on the front of the box here, they also state all the features of this quadcopter. So it's got altitude hold, high speed rotation. So to showcase the messages that you program into it, if you've got the programmable version. One key takeoff landing, 360 flips, one key emergency stop. Uh, you've got automatic display and app customization, okay. Hovering uh, standard RC functions there with the remote headless mode and also one key return with the uh, remote only guys, all right? Uh, I guess you can't use those features on the wristband there, all right? So it's aged at 14 plus, so it's aimed toward teenagers and above, all right? And uh, on, the, on the front of the box here, on the top of the box rather, we've got two QR codes here. One's for basically an advertisement and this one is a, like a quick start guide video, all right, guys? So what I might do later on, I'll just uh, scan those, get the actual uh, URL, and put them in the description below so you can click straight to those videos, all right? All right, so let's have a look inside, and I'll show you what you get. So here is the instruction manual. It's in both uh, Chinese, but if you go, and, and English, if you go towards the middle of the book here, you got everything in English, okay guys? So there's the um, the key functions of all the, uh, the commands on the little remote there. So if you wanna pause that, you can. And uh, here's all the functions of the wristband watch. So you can also pause the video if you like. Okay, so it just goes on to show you how to fly it, how to operate it, the different versions there. Okay, and there's some information here that I'll just quickly go over now uh, about the specs. So let's see here, we've got, this one comes with a 3.7 volt 1S battery, 750 milliamp hour. Uh, charging time of the battery about an hour they say I didn't really find that it took an hour maybe half an hour at the most uh, seven minutes of flight time and control distance of 60 to 80 meters now if that's true I wouldn't be flying this thing out that far anyway I'd keep this close range all right because because it spins around so quick I have tested it out a little bit indoors it's very hard to grasp the orientation so Make sure you've got a fair bit of room. I'm going to fly this one tonight, hopefully, once the sun comes down. Because indoors, it's a little bit... <laughs> it's a little bit hard to control because of the orientation. You need a lot of room for this one, alright guys? So, let me quickly show you the controller here. Now, I'm not going to go through the, the uh, functions because I just showed you just then on the user manual. You can pause that, but uh, it's a very small remote. Uh, here's the on and off switch, up and down to bind. Now this one takes two AAA batteries, okay? Not AA batteries, so, okay? And uh, there's no screw there. I think I took it out or maybe it didn't come with one, which I don't mind anyway, because they're a pain in the butt. Uh, all these transmitters with the um, screws that you've got to undo just to take the batteries out. 
Here's the wristband watch with the gyro sensor built in. So you just press it uh, on there. It's trying to bind with a quadcopter. And to turn it off, you just hold it down. It should turn off, okay? I haven't tried this. Um, today, I'm not going to try it flying it with this. I'm going to try it with the remote control because I am going to try to fly it at night. And there's a little uh, command button which you put on, on your finger, okay? And just press it to do different commands, all right? Now, got two chargers here. This black one is for that wristband, okay? So you got that. And this one is for the battery. Now here's the battery here, like I mentioned, it's a 750 milliamp hour. And you just plug in to the top here and put that into your USB uh, charging port, okay? Now, when this is charging, there's a bright red, it's really bright, red LED strip, and that's when it is charging, okay, when the battery is charging. But once the battery is full, that will turn off and let you know the battery is fully charged, okay? Now, here is, uh, before I go into that, here is some uh, spare parts in this goodie bag. So, you got we've got two tri-blades there, screwdriver, and also some little rubber feet uh, that you've got to put on the quadcopter. Here is a diagram here, just showing how to put them on. So it's rather basic. I haven't put them on yet, but I will before I take it out. And here's the drone here, guys. Here's a little quadcopter. It says words UAV, just there on the top. As you can see, it's got that glittery metallic finish on it. You can get this one in red as well, guys, okay? Now each, uh, it's, it's a quadcopter as you can see here. It sort of looks a bit deceiving with all these arms hanging off, but we've got uh, four uh, brush motors here. They're probably around eight inch size or maybe seven and a half inch brush motors. And each arm has got those two extendable arms here that uh, have these LED strips. So it's got eight LED strips all the way around on this one, okay? And uh, just, this doesn't have an off, on and off switch. So all you've got to do is slide the battery in, okay? So basically, you look for those pins there, look for the pins on the battery and just slide it in. And there's all the bright lights there. As you can see, I don't have the colored version. I have the uh, one that you can program on the app. All right, so it's got bright white LED lights for the programmable messages, okay? And then just undo it like that to take them off or to turn it off. All right, guys, well, this runs on a app uh, called Innermost Words. Um, I'll run through that app with you a bit later on when I uh, go out to fly it, guys, all right? And I'll show you how to make that uh, operate. All right, guys, it's night time now. I'm just in the shed here and uh, I'm going to demonstrate how the app works with the actual little uh, quadcopter here. It's called the Words UAV, all right? So we want to turn that on. It's got no on and off switch. Here's a little remote, up, down. We're bound, okay? And what we want to do, we want to connect to the Bluetooth. I've got the Bluetooth already turned on. Now, when I did that, once it connected, you can see the lights uh, stopped blinking and they're on the top of these LED bars just one little dot all around okay now I'll go into my file I've got a couple of little uh, messages here I'm going to like subscribe happy flying Perth West Oz RC all right so what I'll do I'll choose one of them okay there's a Perth West Oz RC I've got it uh, indicated on the box here, I'm ticked, press send, and once I press send, that flashed twice with some uh, Chinese writing there. Now all I want to do is, is sent it, that message to the phone, uh, to the drone rather, from the phone to the drone via uh, Bluetooth. We want to turn that off, okay? Now the reason why I want to show you, I'll quickly show you actually, once it's connected, I can't take off, okay? It took me a little while to work this out, guys, all right? So I'll just resend it. It's flashing and it stopped blinking, okay? So you have to turn 
the Bluetooth off and now I'm able to fly it okay so all right so what I might do I'll just turn the lights off I might leave the back one on okay so up quickly there we go all right so I'm gonna let it hover there and what we're gonna do is press this pitch and roll stick inwards okay and then you can see the message Perth West Oz RC hopefully you can see that guys hopefully it's showing up on the camera I can see it perfectly with my own eyesight here and then it stops so I don't know if that's turning up on the camera hopefully it is okay and you can fly this like a normal quad forward back right left I mean speed rate one I can do flips with the shoulder button here okay so it elevates itself forward back okay whoa see it elevated itself there nearly hit the roof well I did hit the roof actually okay now you got speed switch on the left hand side here I don't know what I've done then. That might be headless mode or something. I accidentally pressed the button. That one there. Speed rate two. Now it's pretty hard to determine at times what's the front and what's the back. The back is flashing. The front is not. So there you go. You can determine what's the front and what's the back. So, I was wrong there for a second. Speed rate three. Pretty quick. Okay. So I might just land it. Pretty sure when it was flashing those other, uh, like that, I think that might be headless mode, okay? This little teardrop icon. So what I'll do, I'll go back to my phone, we'll try another one. Hopefully it's turning out on the camera guys, okay. So I wanna connect it to Bluetooth. Now see that? It's got those little LEDs on the top, okay. Now I'm gonna choose, we'll try that one. Like and subscribe, just something to do, all right, so. Once you send that through, I'll send it through again. It will flash, okay? Just wait for that prompt in Chinese to go away. Then you've got to disconnect it. Okay, now she's live. She's ready to fly. So let's see if that one works. I'll put in speed rate one. All right. Now you get two versions of this. The other one is with uh, colored LEDs. So it's saying like and subscribe with some uh, lightning bolts there. Hopefully you can see that, eh, on the camera. All right. We'll try that one more time. I'm going to take the hat cam off my head. Okay. Let's try that again. Try to get up close. Like and subscribe. Lightning bolt. Okay. Let me try that button again. And we'll see. Yeah, that is headless mode, guys. That is definitely headless mode. This button here. This button here, okay? That's headless mode. Left is left, right is right. I can yaw, look, I'll yaw, forward, back, okay? So I'll turn that off. And it actually goes into the proper orientation. That was pretty cool. It spun by itself, okay? So like, you can do flip. Let's show that again. Now elevate, so you gotta be wary of that. But it flies really good. Let me get in the light here. Flies really good.
You can easily fly this outdoors in a park or in your backyard. As long as it's not windy, guys. I did try it earlier tonight and it was too windy. It's actually, as you can see on the clock, it's uh, 10 past nine, <laughs> all right? So I waited uh, tonight to actually fly this and demonstrate it to you, all right? All right, let's try another message here. Okay, so I'll get out of that one. I'll put happy flying. We'll do one last one. Okay, got to turn the Bluetooth on. Click send. It sent it. Wait for that prompt to go away. Bluetooth off. All right, let's try one last one. And that will end the video. So what you want to do too, I'll just quickly show you. I'll put on the flat ground. For the gyro calibration, all right, to reset the gyros, two sticks down and out, okay? Two sticks down and out, see that? All right, and it, it's leveled the gyro. All right, so to take off, like I said before, quick flat, uh, quick touch upwards on the throttle will let it spin. If you don't touch, it will time out, okay? It's a safety feature, so let's try one more message. And then I'll end this review, guys, because it'll only fly for about eight minutes at the most. So I've got happy flying. I can bring it down. Happy flying. Hopefully you can see that with a lightning bolt. All right. So there you go, guys. And it finishes its cycle. All right. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, let me turn on the lights here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is the uh, Merbet UAV. It's called the Word UAV. It's also known as a colorific drone or quadcopter. Okay, so yeah, it's it's a pretty cool uh, novelty uh, quadcopter here. I mean, it's just for a bit of fun. You know, and you can fly it around. Uh, I've, I've put the rubber feet on. They're starting to come off a little bit. So you might want to, uh, some of them are coming loose. Um, I, they just push in these rubbers. Uh, you might want to glue them in. But it does fly really good, as I could show you in this shed here. Uh, you know, it will fly really good outdoors. You know, if you want to fly it during the day at the park or something like that. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. And... Because it doesn't have a uh, on and off switch, you just undo the battery like that, okay? It's got a 750 milliamp hour 1S battery, and I did fly it earlier this evening outside actually, and it was a bit too windy, so I decided to recharge it and come back into the, into the shed here where there's no wind. But uh, this does last around seven minutes as advertised. I can vouch for that. Because like I said, I flew it earlier. I didn't fly it to the flat battery. When the battery does get flat, uh, if you try to do the messages via pressing in this, uh, you know, uh, pitch and roll stick, that's how you do it. You just press that in. Uh, when the battery is low, you obviously you can't do flips. And um, when you press that uh, stick in to do the messages, while well, to make it spin quickly, it'll just flash. So that will tell you also that you're running out of battery time. So anyway, guys, I just thought I'll try this out on the channel. It looked pretty interesting. Uh, you know, something a bit different from the norm. Uh, it's pretty much the only message board uh, toy drone that I've actually seen on the market. It just came out not that long ago, guys. I've had it here for about a week. I just got around to reviewing it now. So um, yeah, you can get this one on Banggood, guys. That's who sent it to me for review. So I'll leave the details below uh, in the links uh, in the description below and you can check that out. If I find a coupon code for it, I'll add that in the description as well. Like I said, in the unboxing overview, this one does uh, start at a price of around $27 US. So it's very inexpensive. I think for this one with a message board and I've also got that wrist uh, watch, which I didn't demonstrate today, but... Uh, you know, I think it comes up to around $33. So very inexpensive, fun little novelty drone. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, guys. So if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. 
Okay, sure do appreciate and yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. All right guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.